Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the lead code question number of province. So there are NSTs, some of them are connected, while some are not. If city A is connected directly with city B, and the city B is connected directly with city C, then um, city A is connected indirectly with city C. A province is a group of directly or indirectly connected city, and there are no other cities outside of the group. So you are given n by n matrix uh, is connected, where is connected ij equal 1 if i city and uh, the j city are directly connected, and uh, if 0, otherwise. So return the total number of province. So let's see the example. So you are given uh, this uh, is connected, and the output is 2 because in this case city 1 and city 2 is connected. This is our one province, and uh, and the other province is only city 3. So I think uh, so this is um, the connection of city 1, and uh, this is a connection of city 2 and uh, city 3, I think. And uh, city 1 is connected to city 2. So yeah, here is a city 1, here is a city 2. So city 1 is connected uh, city 2 directly, so that's why this value is 1. But uh, city 1 is not connected with city 3, so that's why this value is 0, so there is no connection here. And uh, from city 2, yeah, um, I think uh, it's same as uh, city 1. So city 2 is uh, connected with city 1 directly, so that's why, yeah, it's value 1. And uh, yeah, uh, city 2 itself is connected uh, with city 2, right? And uh, um, city 2 is not connected with city 3, so that's why 0. And from city 2, um, city 1 and city 2 is not connected, so that's why 0, 0. And uh, city 3 itself is connected with uh, city 3, right? So that's why here is a 1. So in the end, output is 2. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create uh, a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all details of all questions in the video, and you can get the code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let's write the code. Um, I think it's easy to understand the solution with the code. So to solve this question, I use a depth path search. Um, so first of all, I initialize the visited variable with set. So every time I visit new city, um, I put the city number to visit it variable and uh, province initialized with 0 so this is a return value and uh, start looping for i in range and uh, length of is connected and then if i so current city is not in visited so we find a, a new city so in that case, uh, we start a uh, uh, depth path search with current city. And then after we finish depth path search, um, add plus one to pro province plus equal one. And then after that, uh, we should return just province. Okay, and uh, now um, let me explain with this block. So let's say our length of is connected is four, and uh, we have city one, and the city 2 and the city 3 in visited. So that means um, pre, uh, so uh, we already uh, execute um, depth path search a few times, right? And then we already visited uh, these three cities. So when we start from city 4, so that means um, this city 4 will be one of our province, right? This is a new city. Uh, uh, so far, we don't uh, find a city 4. So that means uh, this four, city 4 will be one of our province. So even if uh, city 4 is um, is not connected with other uh, cities. Uh, so remember, example 1, city 1 and city 2 is connected, but the city 3 is not connected with other cities, right? But the uh, output is 2. So that means um, if we find a new city, so that new city will be one of our province. So that's why um, uh, check uh, if we visit that city or not already. And uh, if uh, we don't visit yet, 
um, we start depth path search. And then when we finish depth path search, uh, plus one to province. Okay, so let's create a, a depth path search as an inner function. And uh, taking a city. And uh, first of all, uh, add a city to visit it. And then uh, next, check the connected city. So I use uh, uh, enumerate and uh, for current city and uh, connected city in enumerate and uh, is connected and uh, city. So this uh, current uh, city is like an index number. So let's say, um, okay, so let me let me use uh, example one. So like this, and uh, if this city is zero, so in that case, we iterate through uh, this part, this array, and uh, current city is uh, this index number, zero, one, two, and then uh, connected is uh, uh, each value. So if current city is um, index zero, so connected should be one. If index is one and the uh, value is one and the uh, index two uh, value should be zero, right? So this works like that. And then after that, first of all, if connected, so check uh, the value is one or not. And then um, that city, so that city not in visited. In the case, um, we uh, like a traverse more, so this was such, and uh, current city. So this means is that, um, so this current city is a new city that we don't visit it yet but uh, will be part of uh, uh, like a province, current province. So that's why we need to add the current city to visit it uh, in the next depth first search, I mean here. So that's why uh, we execute the depth first search again here. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be O n square, where n is a number of cities. So that's because we iterate through um, each city here, and uh, we have a depth first search function, which is a, a complexity of O n. So that's why a time complexity should be O n square, and the space complexity is O n. So also where n is a number of city. So we create a visited list uh, set here, and uh, so the maximum size of visited would be um, n. Um, so that's why yeah so that's all i have for you today if you like it please subscribe to the channel hit the like button or leave a comment i'll see you in the next question